Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster Where we're coming in on the end. I'm a little little sad that this has gone by so fast This is the second to last dungeon What do we need? We need... do we need heals? Let's heal Now I think our, I mean our total playtime is going to be under 10 hours, which is crazy. I think I managed to fix the screen tearing. We'll see how well it holds. And I had to go to the Nvidia control panel and like manually turn on vertical sync, which not the worst fix. Kind of a pain that they just don't have V-Sync as an option. Also kind of makes me glad. I don't I know how don't know how much of an issue it'd be on mobile, but if it was, I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, Aegis Shield is not any better. Uh Guards against Stone of Poison. Oh, okay. That is better. Monsters in... No? Let's kill the Medusas. And do we need to heal up? We probably will by the time Ophelia's turn comes around. We're still... Oh my god, 700 damage? There we go. That's that's kind of what I expected out of uh, uh, JCPP. Money, Vorpal Sword, which is not not better. What? Why do I remember like always being really excited? And his defense goes up without the ribbon. The, the ribbon weighs him down. Ah, healing helm. So now... Does it do anything? No, that doesn't do anything. Saber, I don't really care. Put that right there. There we go. No mon- really? I thought there were monsters. I really should check. I keep forgetting between episodes. See, who has the highest intelligence at this point outside of Ophelia? Ten hits! Just so that way I knew know who to use all those fancy items with. I'm, I'm assuming it's Thucydides. I don't think Jean-Claude is very smart. Let's see. 12. Oh. Really? Apologies to uh, Mr. Pierre Paul. Ah, oh, perfect strike. Okay. So... Does it make sense... To do this. Let's see what kind of damage we get out of this. And a mage staff. So Thundara, he does 50 damage to all. I'm thinking the difference between 9 and 12 intellect is probably not. It probably doesn't matter. so hard to know because, I mean, before it didn't matter at all. I remember when that attack was doing 
crazy damage. Oh, we got the heal. We can read back top. Ah, oh, we were topped off. I think there might be. Oh, okay. How do we want to handle this? That should do it, right? I don't know, as much as it would probably take extra time. Oh, no, that worked out. Okay. So, I mean, realistically, we can take, we can reliably take down three enemies every single turn. Whereas, like, the magic items are a little unreliable. This would have been a good test case for the the difference in intellect. We didn't kill it. Uh oh. We have another item that does damage. No, not against these. Well, they are rare enemies. I'm curious if that'll work. If not, it doesn't really matter. Nope, oh, gonna find out. Nope. I didn't think it did, but you know, we had to find out. Four hit points, bad. Point of strength, good. Uh, five hit points, bad. Agility, stamina, intellect, that's not bad. That's actually pretty close to perfect. Especially at this point, because her strength just does not matter. <laughs> I was, I was really expecting that to, to be some heavy damage. Am I wrong that like, I feel like Lysander and Jean-Claude should have a lot more health than they do. Like probably easily a hundred extra hit points. That'll help a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, good level up. I think we just attack and heal, right? I don't know if we're going to start Final Fantasy 2 immediately following this. I kind of want to. But I don't want to promise that just yet. No, we're missing. Lysander's missing one hit point. Aha! Stupid chimeras. Chimeras. Ruining. Ruining my moment. Can I even that out, though? I also feel like... Ninjas would take more damage in this situation. I don't think they were quite as tanky. Ton of money, more money. Thor's hammer. Can we equip it? I don't think so, actually. Oh, we can. For some reason, I thought that made things worse. Cool. So much money. Ah, oh, Sunblade. You know, two points of attack for two points of accuracy. Mmm. I think I'm I think this is what I'm gonna do. Ten thousand guilt dragon mail. Guards against fire and ice, though. 
Uh, I wish... I wish Thucydides could equip the diamond armor, because it's just gonna sit... ...forever unused in our inventory. Again, I feel like in the original, though... Not only would we not be using it, but I'd probably have to trash it. <laughs> Because you don't get very much uh, space to hold on to items. Eight hits. Curious to see what kind of damage Ophelia can do with the uh, Thor hammer. A lot. This way and get back. I feel like I can. I should have checked to see how close how close we are to getting every treasure chest. It might be worth it to go back and, and get those few. If we're talking like one or two. Ooh, oh, okay, preemptive strike. We're gonna do we're gonna do something weird. Uh-huh. And gauntlets and heels. No. Yeah, no, heel staff, and then Thor's hammer. Alright, so yeah, I don't think intelligence really matters all that much. So it was like maybe what extra 10 hit points so like not not anything crazy it's more for sure a friend left on a journey to the west he took the warp cube and went to see our master that's not what I wanted I mean yeah that's the difference between 13 and 30 it was like 10 15 hit points oh Yeah, I really start to lose track of like enemy strength and HP as we, especially around here. I I couldn't even begin to guess. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You you were there before, Blue Dragon. Yep. Just heal up. Oh, 100 damage to Jean Claude. Probably missing a big ol' section of where his ribs used to be. I don't think I'm gonna heal it though. Use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress. We're just like walking along Jean Claude's just. Dripping blood. <laughs> Guys! Oh, you'll be fine, you big baby. Hit him with the heal staff in battle. See? Fine. Adventurous Wayfarer achievement. I have no idea. Razor? Heh. <laughs> Saber that casts Scourge when used. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Are you immune to physical attacks? We're gonna find out. Yep. Yep, physical attacks, no good. Hmm, I feel like I cannot heal him, though. Whoa. Never mind. It's 
pop another of Jean-Claude's uh, ribs back into place. That's better. Delia, a lot of hit points, 29, I'll take it. Strength and intellect, okay. I think we just blast them with thunder or we're gonna be here for a bit. Wow. Oh. Running away. I feel he's like holding up the gauntlets. The one flance and senses its impending doom. He's like, uh, see you losers later. That's not bad. Bad hit points, but the the stats were, were good. Can't hold any more potions. Well, I might as well use one, right? Uh, there we go. Pop another rib back into place. Oh, it, it uses it up. Okay. I wonder if I should try fire. That would do more damage. Top of not remembering enemy like hit points. What they're strong or weak weak to after a point. Uh, not great. Also not great. But more than three hit points, so you know. It's the the small moral victories. It's not as abysmal as it could have been. Thirty-seven. If we grab every treasure in here, I have no doubts. That we'll probably be level forty by the time we're out of here. I oh know we're getting like forty health back with that. I don't know why I thought it was it was a, like a lot less than that. Can you guys make up your mind about who's going to do the most damage? Please. Lysander finally broke 600, which again I feel like is late. Oh, another healing helm. Oh, protectoring, which we all have. Together, we can heal like a hundred damage between like three of us. In a turn, I don't know how helpful it's going to be towards the end, but the option is there. For once, for once, she was too fast. First, no. I feel like this dungeon isn't as long as, oh boy. It's not as long as I don't think the uh, underwater temple. I feel like it takes longer to get through. I do appreciate that there's not a ton of random up down nonsense. Cottage and a mithril home, which I don't think is any good. No, nah, it's trash.
I don't know why I bother trying to get a healing. That wasn't gonna happen. How many spells? Four, four. Okay, so not a lot. I doubt they're gonna get much more either. Alright, try the mage staff, see if that works. The, they did not seem to like it last time. They were, they were quite averse to being set on fire. Diamond gloves... no. Uh, Alright, what do we got here? I think, I think that's the, the winning formula. That did it. That was that was about as good as you can draw it up. Oops. Diamond shields, which I don't think yeah. Oh, and another ribbon. What do we do? Five points of defense, that, but guards against elemental attacks and status effects. I think overall... I think it's worth it. Uh, maybe set them on fire. I can only imagine how much faster this would have gone if I had used the fast forward function. Like, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be sub 10 hours anyway. That would have like guaranteed it. That's all right. We're not we're not in a hurry. It's not a race. Just hanging out, having a good time, playing some Final Fantasy 1 Black Robe. Which I don't think that's all that useful. Oh no, it, it casts Blizzara. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. So it's not bad. So I'm going to switch that and that because I feel like that's kind of the order of usefulness. Ah! Let's give it a try. Where did I put it? There we go. I can't remember what, what was I thinking it did. It was like some stupid status spell that like is broken in the original I'm pretty sure is what I... What I thought that was gonna do. Maybe it's the no the white shirt I believe does invis two. I think we're I think we're about to find out. Level up the city's luck and a lot of hit points. I feel you a lot of hit points. Uh, agility, intellect, luck. That's that's a point of stamina away from being the perfect level up. Cast in Visera. Yeah. Guards against fire and instant death. I don't think it's better than the diamond armlet though. Nope. No, that is very much intended to be used as an item. Mm, yeah, that should do. Interesting. See, again, as a kid, 
I would be looking at my strategy guide and it would show you like how much defense and evasion a piece of armor would give you. Sorry, phone phone call came in. It's just not important. Uh, 33 hit points, strength and agility. That is awesome. But yeah, so I'd be looking up like this, this the the uh, defense and evasion, and I'd be like, oh, this armor sucks. Like, doesn't offer anything. Hit points. He, he, that's what he needs the most. I feel like his damage is okay. You just give me hit points. Not realizing that like these spells, being able to cast them for free is really, really, really good. Man, I'm like, do I, would I want the uh, special mob in here to show up? I feel like I kind of don't. Maybe, I've only fought it, I want to say like twice. Yes! Adamantite. Normally when I, like, I'm playing on my own, I will go and get that forged. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Cause otherwise it would take, it would take a lot of time to get back up. At this point, we're pretty close to the end. Just need a, a little bit better luck with uh, these random battles. Wouldn't be too bad for leveling, though. My... In my ideal world, everyone has at least 500 health. Uh... Going into the final fight. That would be ideal. Well, there's more to this than I thought. Uh, how big is this floor? There's quite a bit. Okay. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I think we're gonna call it an episode here. We'll finish this up in the next one and Then uh, we'll be pretty close to being ready to finish this so uh, hope you guys are still having a great time as always Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time